Hey everybody, uh, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I'm going to show you how to fix this types of error could not load assembly on line food dot repositories ensure it is referred by the startup project on line food dot web I mean to say that if you want to save your repository in a separate project but your startup project is the web project and if you want to uh, create migration then that type of error will, uh, will be happen uh, when if you are not add any reference of the uh, migration uh, repository in the program.cs file so first of all add a reference of your connection string file that is the app settings file or your uh, application db context reference in program.cs file or in the web in the in your startup file so uh, in the asp.net core 6.0 you can just add it here like that uh, only that line of code will be used uh, like the service dot add db context and application db context only that line of code but you can do add also connection string settings like that okay so uh, if you are adding that line of code like a service dot add db context application db context options you server sql server configuration dot get connection string then that type or, uh, of error will removed easily and you can see your error will removed easily now just save this and just again just create migration and your repository uh, your migration repository is the separate project so just start it because you uh, referred a uh, startup project online food dot web uh, in the uh, application DP context file okay so here we have a uh, proper uh, migration applied with the initial class so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos